Chase Foster and welcome back to our FA24 prototype engine build series. If you haven't watched the first video, I'd highly recommend you go check that out. We got our short block all assembled and we dropped our engine off at the cylinder head department. So now let's chat a little bit with Tom who works in our engine department and he can tell you exactly what he went with for his cylinder head package. Hey guys, my name is Tom from IIG. I'm an engine builder here. I used to own a 2006 STI. It was a nine, right around 900 horsepower car, ran mid nines, uh, raced it for about eight years, uh, owned it for about 10, and it just started off as a hobby that turned into my dream job. Since you saw the engine last, we developed a head package for it. We weren't really sure what we were gonna go with, but now we decided what we were gonna do. And uh, we're gonna run a stock valve along with uh, Kelford dual springs, and we did our, uh, our threaded coolant plug mod along with drilling for the 14 mil head studs for the fire lock. We've had fire lock in the past. Everybody knows we had them for our EJ platform and it works very well, especially for our high horsepower stuff. I think that's what we're aiming for with this engine is to go a little bit higher and, and testing our fire lock system on this wall is gonna uh, give us verification that you know it's gonna work for our FA stuff. All the guys in the engine department did a fantastic job with that prototype FA24 and they haven't been working on this full time over the last couple of weeks. They've been doing this after hours. Obviously we got a bunch of customer builds that we got to prioritize, but all said and done they busted that out pretty quick. So before we start putting this engine in the car, there's still a lot of work we got to do. We got to get the engine fully dressed. So why don't we go check in with Dylan and we'll see what we got to do. Before I get this engine in the car and see what this prototype can do, we have to dress it up, get the turbo back on it, all the accessories, wiring harness, and all the ancillary products back on the engine. Once it's in the car, continue to connect everything up, get it running, get it broken in, fresh oil change, and get it back in the car so we can torture test it. So the prototype FA24 is almost ready to go back in our car. We've still got a couple things to do, including the stock clutch and flywheel need to be installed. And I guess part of our testing for this prototype FA24 is going to be also testing how much power the stock clutch can take. We're not really sure. We have seen some high horsepower 22 dub Rexes online, but I guess we'll find out. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to stop the video here. I really wanted to get that prototype FA24 installed and even started in this video, but that's gonna have to be for the next one, unfortunately. As you can tell, we got a little busy around the shop between customer builds and working on some cars. Dylan's working on Dewey's car right now, which seems to always need something. And we've got our shop STI in the background and Fred's doing some work on that. We're doing some development and as you can tell, he's only got one arm right now, so it's gonna take twice as long. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this prototype FA24 content. I'll see you guys next time.